Hi, I'm Dan McCabe. I'm with Avalon Integration. Today we're here to talk about the Zebra MC3300. The Zebra MC3300 is the replacement for the MC3100, which was one of the workhorses in the light industrial uh, barcoding space over the past several years. Let's take a look. So the good news is we don't have to be super careful about how we take this out of the box because it's pretty rugged. One of the big differentiators of this device versus the predecessor devices uh, is that the battery is substantially easier to put in. Um, that was a common complaint with the older devices. There we go. All right. So this, much like all the other Zebra devices that are uh, shipping today, is a modern standards compliant um, Android device that uh, everybody that's uh, familiar with cell phones is immediately comfortable with. There are a few big differentiators with this uh, versus its predecessors. And the first and most obvious is that it finally has a uh, rectangular shaped screen instead of a square screen. So the prior Zebra devices were unique in the industry in that they had a square screen um, and that really wasn't uh, super great for use with third-party WMSs and other sorts of applications that expected this sort of portrait-shaped screen. Um, the other big differentiator um, with this device versus the previous generation is that it finally comes with a long-range barcode scanner. So in the old days, if you wanted a long-range barcode scanner uh, in this sort of form factor from Zebra, you had to go with the MC9200, which is much, much larger. Uh, it's a lot more rugged, um, but it's much, much larger and much, much heavier. And so in the light industrial space, a lot of times that didn't feel like the right device. So the good news is that Zebra had figured out a way to make that long-range scanner smaller, and so they could fit it now into a device of this size. And so what that means is that if you don't need the world's most rugged device, um, but you do need long-range scanning, the MC3300 is a great option. So the 3300 comes in several form factors. Most typically in retail, you would see people using this, which is called the brick form fa factor. Uh, and most typically in a warehouse environment, you would see this, which is the gun form factor. So this device, uh, regardless of form factor, comes with three different keyboard options. Um, if you have a lot of numeric entry, uh, the numeric 29 key option uh, is, is preferred. If you're doing Telnet um, and you have, make heavy usage of function keys, uh, the 38 key keyboard uh, is typically preferred. And if you have a lot of alphanumeric input, uh, typically the 47 key keyboard um, is preferred. So let's take a look at the scanning performance. Another big differentiator with this device uh, versus old devices is that even the long-range scanner uh, can read uh, very small barcodes uh, when you're close. Um, and notice that you can be at any angle, so you don't really need to aim this like you would with a laser. Uh, it can, of course, also scan 2D barcodes. So the long-range scanner in this device can actually scan from ridiculously far away. Um, our room here has, isn't actually big enough for me to demonstrate just how far away it can scan from, but let me show you what it looks like from probably about 20 feet away. And what you'll see is that I can scan this thing every time. Um, and in fact, I'm even walking down the hall and I can keep going until I get around the corner. So basically the scanning performance on this device uh, is really kind of magical uh, compared to anything that's uh, in the prior generations. So that is the Zebra MC3300. Available in the pistol grip form factor, the brick form factor, short range scanner, long range scanner. Uh, huge, huge productivity improvements uh, compared to prior generations. Small, light, comfortable, easy to use, uh, easy to train on. Uh, we here at Avalon uh, help our clients implement these sorts of technologies all the time, and we'd love to be of service to you. Please feel free to give us a call.